Hey, I'm Chelsea, a new English teacher in Japan, and this is everything I keep in my teaching bag. I teach at seven different schools, so what I keep in my backpack is really important since I don't have a place to store my items once I get to school. There are also some things that I keep in my car, but I'll talk about that later in the video. So the backpack I use is this backpack <laughs> by the brand Anello. It's a medium-sized backpack and it's quite heavy at the moment since this is everything I would keep on rotation. I don't bring all of these items with me to school. It really depends on the day. Sometimes it depends on the weather. So I'll share with you why I bring certain items for what occasion. I've decorated my backpack with some pins that I've received from friends and a couple of fortunes that I got on my first visit to Japan in 2017. In the small front pocket, I keep some essential items like my wallet. Now this wallet is bigger than I'm used to carrying in America. I would only carry a couple of cards with me like my credit card and my driver's license, but Japan is still a very cash-based country, so I keep this wallet to store coins and bills and any cards that I might need. Next, I have my bank book. This is the analog way of keeping track of all transactions going in and coming out of my bank account. And finally, I have my Inkon. My Inkon is a personal seal that is used for formal documents in replace of a signature like we have in the US. I got this really cute Inkon case from Daiso. In one of the small side pockets, I will keep my car key. This is the first time I've had a key that doesn't plug into the ignition, so I'm still getting used to that even though it's been two months. <laughs> In the other side pocket, I keep one of my hydro flasks. This one I use specifically for tea since it's been quite cold here. All right, let's get into the big pocket. To go along with my tea, I will bring a mug with me. This one is a collapsible coffee mug that I got from my friends as a gift. And this one is one that I thrifted. I like to bring a mug with me because my hydro flask keeps my tea way too warm. And almost every time I try to drink out of it, I burn myself. So I like bringing a mug with me to allow me to cool down and also to keep track of how much I've been drinking. A lot of the teachers have their own coffee mugs at school, but I go to seven schools, so I didn't want to get seven mugs. So I bring these with me when I have tea. Next up, I have a handkerchief. Japan doesn't have paper towels in their bathrooms and most of the hand dryers are turned off due to COVID. So having one of these is really, really, really essential. And I have a bunch of different ones of different colors and shapes. There's affordable ones you can get from the 100 yen shop. I got this one from the Disney store. The next item in my bag is the heaviest and it is my large hydro flask. This one I only use for water and it has the pop-up straw attachment. I've decorated it with a bunch of stickers and the kids love Kimetsu no Yaiba, so whenever they see Nezuko, they always ask about it because I have one that's kawaii and one that's kawaii or scary and cute. <laughs> and they also know Animal Crossing characters too, so when I bring this with me to lunch, I always get lots of attention and questions about it, so very cute. Very great conversation starter. Next up is this bag of random stuff. <laughs> This bag is what I use to store all of the small items that I could easily lose at the bottom of my bag. It has things like toothpaste in my toothbrush so that I can brush my teeth with the kids after we're done eating lunch. It also has things like hand cream, lip balm, eye drops, spare face masks, and I also have allergies. So I have an EpiPen, my asthma inhaler, and allergy medicine in case anything were to happen to me. Moving on to work-related things, first up, is my laptop. This is a 13 inch MacBook Pro that I put a case on and decorated with stickers, which are again, very great conversation starters with your students. These ones at the top here were designed by my partner who is a very talented artist. And the rest of these are actually from a set of stickers that I use as prizes for games during class. I bring my laptop for a couple of reasons. One is that I have my Japanese textbook as a PDF on here so I can study Japanese between my down periods, but also all of the classrooms have smart boards or a TV so I can use this HDMI cable to plug in and show presentations and videos. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi at the school is not accessible for teachers or to the public, so I have to use my phone as a hotspot if I'm going to use Wi-Fi at school 
or I have to download things in advance so that I don't have to go on the internet to show my presentations. But recently I've been using things like Canva, which is a great way, tool for anybody to make really beautiful presentations. Um, if there's anything I wanna show on YouTube, I need internet. And I've also been making Cahoots, which is a quiz type game that you can use and make for free. And yeah, you need Wi-Fi for that. I will sometimes bring my MacBook charger with me if I know I'm gonna use my laptop a lot during class. One thing about Japan you might not know is that there is so much paperwork, physically on paper. And I get my school schedules faxed to me. So in order to keep track of all that, I have this nifty file folder. On the front page is where I keep my semester schedule so I can see at a glance what schools I'm visiting in a week. I then will keep Monday through Friday of my class schedules in order. And it's kind of nice to have it on paper so I can make notes of any activities that I'll be doing in my classes. And often when I get to school, the schedule ends up being different than what was written. So it's just nice to be able to make changes on the fly on a piece of paper. I also have a separate notebook that I use to jot down notes for activities that I'd like to do in class, write down any students' names that I learned since there are just so many of them, and basically anything related to school. I also have a separate notebook for studying Japanese. This is the Kokuyo Campus Smart Ring Binder in B5. And what's nice about this is that I have loose leaf paper in here that I can move around. So if I want to put all of my vocabulary in one section, I can do that. Any kanji practice. And if I don't need the pages anymore, I can just take them out without feeling bad about ripping up a notebook. Along with that, I also have my Ginky One workbook. Whenever I am at the end of a chapter, I'll bring the workbook with me to school. So this doesn't stay in my bag all of the time. The last item in my bag is not one, but two pencil cases. And I know this is quite excessive, but I like having options. And I also don't know what I'm going to need in any given day. In this bag, I keep my most used writing utensils like pens and pencils. And in this one, I have other stationery like scissors, a ruler and a glue stick and the zebra mod liners, which I've been collecting. And it's been really fun to get to use them while I'm taking notes for Japanese or to make posters since they also count as markers. I think that's it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I have a reusable bag just in case I go grocery shopping and I need a bag and I don't want to pay for one. This one I got from Uniqlo and it is Animal Crossing themed. So that is everything that could be in my backpack, but there are a couple of items that I don't have with me, but I keep in my car. The first are my indoor shoes. In Japan, the students and teachers have a separate pair of shoes that they only wear while they're inside the school. So I have a pair of Crocs and these shoes are very comfortable. Like I was not a Crocs person prior to actually needing to stand on my feet all of the time, but these are really great. I got them in kind of a larger size in case my feet feel swollen. And I really haven't had any pain on my feet, in my legs, on my back while wearing these. So I've been converted. The next item is my business suit. Since I don't know when a ceremony or a special event might be happening at school, I just keep that in my car in case I need to have a blazer for a nice occasion or for a picture. The final items that I don't have with me are items that I use in the classroom. I have an office that I use as home base that I go to before and after school, and that's where I keep all of my activities, games, worksheets, flashcards, pretty much anything that I use in class. At the end of the day, I'll set aside all of the items that I'll bring to classes the next day so that when I get to the office the following morning, I can just pick them up and go straight to school. And that's it. That's everything that I bring with me as a new English teacher in Japan. A lot of these items may or may not work for you based on your situation. You may not have to go to as many schools or you may not have to be living out of your car like me, but I hope that these things were useful to you and gave you some ideas of how you can stay organized or maybe some new ideas of what you can be bringing to school. If you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching. See you. Am I finally a YouTuber now that I've done a what's in my bag video?